to defeat banditry in that region. I have joining me Chairman Committee on Prosecution of Banditry and Related Offenses in Zafara, Dr. Abdullahi Shinkafi. Dr. Shinkafi, about a year ago, the Zafara State Governor was quoted to have said that its administration will no longer dialogue with the bandits. As a matter of fact, he said that there would not be any form of amnesty for them moving forward. Has that changed now? Well, the, the narrative has not changed. Uh, since last year, when the Zafara State Governor Bello Matole come out with some proactive security measures to curtail the fight against Ambandi 3, the issue of peace dialogue has come to an end. But some bandits, some notorious bandits and some campaigns on their own approached the gov governor to often do for them to fend. But as far as the government is concerned, the government has put an end with any reconciliation with any armed bandit. But if the bandit on his own affronts the government that he's ready to embrace peace, lay his arms and ammunition, then the government is ready to accept him as a repented bandit. But the narrative has not changed. The government is ready to deploy more military operation in the bandit camps in their hideout. I get you, Dr. Shinkafi. Uh, prior to the reported surrender or repentance of Bilo Turji, you recall that Adu Alero also reportedly re repented and was Turban Sarkin Fulani. Are you concerned about the implication, or perhaps let's begin with the intention behind this? sudden repentance of notorious um, criminals. Are you also concerned about the implication of government working with these individuals who perhaps still have cases to answer? Does it mean that after killing and abducting people, the moment they surrender arms, they are completely for forgiven? What's the implication of that on the ongoing onslaught against banditry in Zamfara? Well, the, 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 the consequences of their repentance would at length their arms and ammunition, it means there's no sincerity of purpose. But if they really have repented, they have to surrender their arms and ammunition and disband their camps. All their operational motorcycles should be also bring to the government. All their logistics suppliers, their informer, they should cut the relationship with them. So in fairness to Bill Turzi, his catchment area where he's made, he operate, his major operation is in Shinkapi local government, Zurimi local government, and also in Sokoto state in East Asabo and Bermi. For more than, more than three months now, there's no reported cases of cattle rustling, kidnapping, killings, collection of ransom by the Bell Liturgy camp. Permit me to butt in, Dr. Well, Shinkafe, because I'm particularly concerned about the justice component of what is happening right now. Because you did mention in the earlier report that you are concerned about the delay in judgment for suspected bandits and informants. My question really is, if government would forgive a repentant bandit, how do you secure judgments for those who are caught in the act? Because whether repentant or not, they have committed a crime. Well, uh, Section 221 of Nigerian Constitution, 1999 as amended, have given the Attorney General and the Commissioner of Justice of a State to institute a criminal case against any criminal that commit any criminal offense within the jurisdiction of that court. So if the, it is, and also the Commissioner of Justice and Attorney General of the state has the right to continue or discontinue criminal case 
against a criminal while he was brought to the court. If at all in such situation, now the government have given a progressive mercy, a pardon the bandit, then the commissioner of justice has the right constitutionally to terminate the case uh, from the from from the court. Sin die. That is the that is position of the law. If today a case has been instituted against a criminal, by the power of the council bestowed on the attorney general of the state, section 221 has the right to ever continue or discontinue the case if the, if the criminal has been filed on by the state government. It's a good place to leave it. Dr. Abdullahi Shinkafi is chairman, committee and prosecution of bandit and related offenses. Wish you all the best, doctor. Thank you for talking to us. Hey. Okay.